Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimbo. Today, I know I should probably have a mask on, right? That's okay, we're keeping our distance and it's all good. And I'm working from home, all good. Anyway, today we're gonna be uh, trying out this Ethos Foam Party, this super concentrated 16 ounce bottle that smells like pina colada and looks all brown. Is gonna set you back about $17 or $16.95, at least at the time of this recording. Now this is kind of an interesting foam wash. So it's a pre-wash foam. So you use two to three ounces in your foam cannon and you foam the car to wash it before you wash it. So I'm still kind of wrestling with where does this fit in in the process, but I think I find, found out where it'll fit in for my process because when I wash my cars, I like to do a no touch option. So I tend to have to use kind of like either a Turtle Wax Max Power or some, or some sort of wash that has a little bit more bite to it than a pH neutral that doesn't seem to really take away the dirt and grime. So in this video, we are foaming a car, a really dirty car, up with this to see how well it cleans, how well it's lubricated, and how well it does on an 85 degree day in direct sun. So all that coming up in this video right now. So I really wanted to do it without rinse, pre-rinsing the car to really see how well the foam worked, but it's so hot today and the panel's pretty hot to the touch. And so I got to cool down the, the paint so it doesn't stain or do anything crazy, but I'm going to leave the back deck lid as it stands and I'm not going to pre-rinse it to see how much of this dirt, that way if I get any staining right here, I could clean it up real quick without, I don't want staining all over the whole car. So I'm going to leave this to see how well it does if you don't pre-rinse, but the rest of the car will have a pre-rinse and then a foam. Let's foam this puppy up. So this is two ounces, about three ounces actually in this 32 ounce container. And you can see just, I mean, for me, that's an insane amount of foam. And so I'm interested to see its cleaning ability. So I'll let it sit, can't let it sit too long, but I'm gonna let it sit on the car and kind of let it, see how it's sitting and kind of slowly dripping away. And ideally what it's doing is taking those, taking away the dirt and debris with it. So I don't have as much time to let it dwell as I would potentially like or could, but I'm also wanting to see if it uh, works in direct sun as well. And what on a hot, brutal day when you're outside, will it? can you actually use this foam? So again, extreme testing is kind of the name of my game. In case you haven't noticed, let me get this hose out a little bit, but I think it's probably 85 degrees out here today. And uh, looks like it's doing extremely well, especially if you're, you're talking about a foam that's more of a cleaner or designed to be more of a cleaner, a pre, uh, here's the thing, I've been trying to figure out where does this fit into the cycle? And if you're like me, I like to do no touch car washes as much as possible. So I'm looking at this as a, can I foam the car? with this, and since it says, at least it's safe for waxes and sealants, can I foam the car with this and wash the car with this and have it clean off the majority of the dirt? And then after I rinse it um, and start to dry it, use my spray wax or dedicated, you know, whatever, spray in between, um, will this get most of the dirt more than a traditional pH neutral soap? So, I mean, that panel was so hot to the touch. I did cool it down, but I think it's a good time to start rinsing it. But as you can see, the soap is doing a great job. So let's rinse it, and then we'll come in for a quick shot and see how well it actually cleans. Especially on that back deck lid.
So it, if we look at the before and after on this back deck lid, it actually cleaned the majority of the dirt off. It left some things to be desired with these little uh, yellow pollen dots or bee poo or whatever. But what's a little interesting about them is they're actually just really loose on the panel. So normally with like a regular car wash soap, you would have to kind of dig with your fingernail, though no detailer would ever dig with their fingernail, but you have to kind of work these off. They're actually just, they've kind of turned into just dust and they just come right off. So it definitely is effective at loosening up the dirt and then rinsing it away. It did leave a little bit to be desired as far as cleaning, but honestly, not much especially considering how dirty this back portion was. It's gone through some rainstorms. It's been a little while. So overall, did a really, really phenomenal job. And again, if you, it is doing at least what the label says with a pre-wash. If you were to wash the car now, you would have obviously a super clean surface. So great job. Cool, so what do you think about that video? I, honestly, this foam, I've been using it in my personal detailing business. I did it in this video, obvious for, obviously for video reasons. I've never used it when it's this hot out. I don't know if you can see by my brow, I'm sweating. It's really warm today. Um, the paint was hot to the touch and that's why I kind of pre-rinsed it to try to cool it down as much as possible. But as you could see from the after photos, it did a really, really good job. It did exactly what the label said it would do, which is actually really difficult to find nowadays in detailing products. So uh, thumbs up to Ethos. It actually did what it was supposed to do, what it's designed to do. I like it, I would definitely buy this product and approve of it. Um, and like I said, I'm actually using it for my no touch kind of weekly car washes or bi-weekly car washes. Uh, so I would highly suggest this, this product to pick it up. And I think it did very, very well. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya.